So I created a video about a year ago about an Xtool Creative Space tutorial. I looked at it and realized in the last year there's been a lot of new edits to Xtool Creative Space. So I figured it was probably time to update the tutorial. So this is going to be a new tutorial and I'm going to try to go more in depth on each of the items that Xtool Creative Space has for you to engrave and change pictures. To start off here, I have an untitled blank document with Xtool Creative Space. My Xtool D1 Pro is not yet connected and I'm just sitting at my desk looking at my computer. So the first thing I'd like to come to is the images tab on here on the left sidebar. So go over to images, click images, pull up an image. So here's an image of a butterfly. There are a lot of different things I can do with this image, such as rotate it, make it bigger or smaller, and then move it to the, either the center, the edge, or the corner of the sheet. Once I have the image where I'd like it on the page, I can make a lot of different bitmap image edits. So first off, here's the original image. I can put a filter on it. So here's a grid-like filter, a sketch filter, comic, comic two, embossment, and black and white. I can use these filters to engrave a lot of different things. So if I'd want to engrave on a piece of wood, I would probably use something like a grid. If I was going to engrave on something smaller and thinner, I would probably use something like a comic or a sketch. If I wanted something really dark, I would probably use the black and white method. But for this, I'll just keep it at the original. So I can make my image sharp or dull. This normally just changes it to black and white. Then I can increase or decrease the grayscale of the image. Lots of this I don't really use unless I'm going to try to work on a piece of wood uh, and that is an image that doesn't need to be in color. So if you don't really understand why uh, these tools are there, try it on an image that doesn't have color and you can see a lot of differences. Okay, now if you come down here to the big green button where it says edit image, this is a really cool image editing feature that a lot of other engraving sites don't let you use. So first off, here at the top, you see three different buttons. The first one is a magic wand. So if you have an image that has a background on it and you want to remove the background, just click the area you want to remove. So notice in this image, there's a white square background that I don't want. So I just click on the background and it removes it. So now your image has a transparent background. Next, here's an eraser tool. I can use this to erase any part of the image that I don't want. This is really nice if there's crop marks or water marks or just to remove something or somebody out of a picture. Lastly is how you crop the image. I can hit the crop tool, crop it how I would like, hit the check and hit save. And there it's cropped. So I've changed the image up a little bit so I can show how to trace an image. So I have this image of the Lego logo. So if I hit trace image, I can change the fuzziness, I can denoise the image, and I can smoothen the image. Honestly, I haven't used these tools very much to say a whole lot about them, but I'm gonna link an article from Xtool Creative Space Knowledge Base in the caption. That way, if you have any questions or if you want to use the knowledge base article, you can go look at it and figure out more about the tracing image feature. But once I click save, it's traced the inside of the image. So I have now an outline of the inside of the image. This would be great if I wanted to engrave an image and then cut around the inside to make a layered image effect. Next, I'll go to the insert function. So over on the left side, there's an insert button. After you scroll over it with your mouse, you're given three options. 
a line, a rectangle, and a circle. Click one of these options and it gives you a little tool where you can draw the shape that you picked. So here I can draw a rectangle, make it as long or as big as I would like it. Say I don't want a rectangle and then I can come over here and draw a line. And then edit it how I would like. Pretty simple. Next is the shapes tool. There's been a lot of new shapes and images added within the last year. When I first started with the Xtool Creative Space, it was just basic shapes. Now there's images of plants and animals and patterns. There's a lot of different things that you can use where you don't have to go online to find images. And these images are free to engrave at your discretion. So let's say I want to find an image of an elephant. I click on the elephant and then I can enlarge the image. Then come over here to the right where it says score, engrave, or cut. And it gives me different outlines of the image. I can also come over and find another image if I don't want an image of an elephant, such as this image of a ghost. And I can take it and score it, engrave it, or cut it. And I'll explain that a little more in a future video. Next is the text. Just come over to text and write what you want. Then you can change the size of the text, the typeface or what I would like to call a font for the text, the style which just changes the font from uh, regular to italic, bold and bold italics, the spacing of the text, so the line between the text, the leading of the text and the alignment of the text. The operation of welding adds text together. So let's say I have a lot of text. I can center it and then this little button right here allows me to rotate the text. This is great if I'm making an image where I want text around the top of the image or around the bottom of the image. So I could lay this here, bring a shape, put a line here, copy that, bring it the other way, align it to the bottom and say, have a great day. And there you have an engravable image. So after I got off of that rabbit hole, I can create a vector. So a vector just pretty much lets you make your own shape. Every time you click, it adds a new point. And once you connect the points, it makes a shape, kind of like a big game of connect the dots. Next is this X art tool, which is also a pretty new tool that X tool creative space has released. And this is an AI tool where you can create pictures and images. So here it gives me a text to image. So I can, here's a prompt that was uh, given to me as an example, a lamp jumping over a hill. So just something weird that you wouldn't normally think of or expect or be able to find on Google. So I can use this prompt and tell the AI tool what kind of image I want it to be, such as a silhouette, gothic, steampunk, so on and so forth. How many I want of the images, give me different image types, and then some advanced settings. Unfortunately, I don't have any points remaining because I've played with it so many times uh, to be able to show. Then hit generate and it'll bring up an image here on the right. Image to image, you drag and drop an image from your download folder, enter a prompt, tell how many images you want, and then there's also some advanced settings. This allows you to edit images. This is a lot easier than having to go to Google and find a different image if you want just one little tweak on your images. So this is a really neat tool, and to gain points, can come here to the X tool points rules and guide. 
then go back to the editor. Lastly is this code. You can insert a QR code or a barcode. QR code, you can put a website. Click save, and once you scan the QR code, it should take you to the website. A lot of local engravers focus on small businesses by creating a block of wood with a QR code of the store's website, Google review page, Facebook, and then the stores buy it from the engraver and then it increases their sales and website traffic. Next is a barcode. You can use this and put text on it and have customers scan it. So that was just a quick tutorial of this left side bar of Xtool Creative Space. I tried to go a little more in depth this time than I did on my last tutorial video, but if you're just wanting a loose tutorial of everything that Xtool Creative Space provides, I have another video titled Xtool Creative Space Tutorial. So if you liked the video, leave a like and a follow. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear some of your feedback on uh, issues or cool projects or anything that you guys have made and would love to share so we can have a community here of uh, Xtool members. Also, I've got some links in my bio I'd love for you to click on. The links in the bio leads you to tools that I use on my daily laser engraving process and also if you want to buy a new engraver. So thanks for watching. I have a bunch of other videos. If you have any questions or anything, just reach out and have a great one.